Hello students, how are you and your family? Hope all of you and your near and dear ones are doing very well. Today, before we start our class, I will take some of your time to share some words with you all. Nowadays, this pandemic crisis is getting much worse than we ever think. Central government as well as our state government have declared a strict lockdown again in some states, districts, including some particular areas also. So we need to be very cautious about our activities. I know that it's become very monotone us as we cannot step out from our homes for a long time. We cannot go out for shopping, playing or chit chat with our friends as the school has been remained closed from the last five months. And also, we don't have any idea when we will get over this crisis. But we are helpless. To keep ourselves safe, we have to stay at home. Please don't step out if there is no emergency. Parents, please spend and enjoy the quality time with your child. Along with studying, play some indoor games with them, tell them stories you heard in your childhood, make some hand crafts. These things will surely make you and your child happy. Ask your neighbors and your relatives about their health. Help those who are needy. Feed the strains. And last but not least, remember, protect yourself and others around you by knowing the facts and taking appropriate precautions. Prevention measures are your first line of defense. Though we all know these safety measures sticks, but I want to utter this again to make it fresh in your memory. First, avoid contact with others and wear face masks if you need to leave your home. Wash your hands often with soap and water for at least 20 seconds, especially after going to the bathroom, before eating and after blowing your nose, coughing or sneezing. Avoid touching your eyes, nose and mouth with your unwashed hands. Avoid close contact with people who are sick. Stay home when you are sick. Cover your cough or sneeze with the tissue. Then throw the tissue in the trash and wash your hands. If you don't have a tissue, cough or sneeze into your elbow rather than into your hands. Clean and disinfect frequently touched objects and surfaces. Restrict your travel. Remember, masks alone do not protect against COVID-19 and should be combined with physical distancing and hand hygiene. So, dear students and parents, please take care of yourselves. We believe that very soon we will overcome this crisis. Almighty God is with us. Today we will learn about pronouns. First, I am reading a story. Open your book, page number 52, chapter number 9. Let us read a story. Arnav had to go to school. Arnav was getting very late. Arnav quickly put on his socks and shoes. Arnav ran to the kitchen. Arnav took the lunch box from mother. Arnav put it into the bag. The school bus was blowing the horn. Arnav ran to the door and jumped into the bus. Phew! Arnav was just on time. Count the number of times you read the word Arnav. Is it so boring? If we repeat the word Arnav every time we spoke about him. So, here comes pronouns. A pronoun is a word that takes the place of a noun or nouns in a sentence. I, you, he, she, it, we, they. These are the words used instead of nouns and known as a person. Now look at your story. Arnav had to go to school. He was getting very late. He quickly put on his socks and shoes. He ran to the kitchen. He took the lunchbox from mother. He put it into the bag. The school bus was blowing the horn. He ran to the door and jumped into the bus. Phew! Arnav was just on time. The magic word is he. Instead of using Arnav every time, we use the pronouns he. The same way, Ram is a good boy. Ram lives in Malda. Ram reads in class 1. It is also Bori. If we use the word Ram every time when we spoke about him. So, instead of using Ram every time, we can write Ram is a good boy. 
he lives in Malda. Instead of Ram, we use he. He lives in Malda. Ram reads in class 1. So, he reads in he reads in class 1. Okay? In the same way, we use the pronoun she. If we say Lina is a good girl. Lina lives in Bakura. Lina loves to eat ice cream. It is also very boring if we use the word Lina every time. So, instead of use Lina every time, we use the pronoun she. Like, Lina is a good girl. She lives in Bakura. She loves to eat ice cream. Lina is a good girl. She lives in Bakura. She loves to eat ice cream. Next, now look at your book, page number 53. Remember, I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they. I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they. You, they are all words used instead of name of people. Like we use she, before it we use he. Names of people, such words are known as pronoun. So, these are I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they are the pronouns. Now look at your book. She is used for girls. We use she for girls. Earlier we used he for boys. And it. It is used for animals and objects and babies. We use it for animals, objects and babies. It. Now, look at your book. Example of it. It is a dog. It is a chair. It is a baby. We use it for animal things and baby. Now, look at your book. Page number 54. Number B. Now, write he, she or it in the blanks. Chair. Chair is a thing. So, we will write it. Boy. We use he for boy. Mother. We use she for mother. Aunt. We use she for aunt. Grandfather. We use he. Brother. He. Pencil. Pencil is a thing. We use it. Queen. We use she. We use he for male nouns, she for female nouns and it for Animal, baby and things. Tiger, it. Duck, it. King, he. Cow, it. Monkey, it. Table, it. Book, it. Elephant, it. Now, number C. Fill in the blanks using he, she or it and then read the complete sentences. One has been done for you. Number one, look at the picture. This is a picture of Rahul. This is Rahul. He is a small boy. We use he for boys. He has a back. He is a good player. He has a round face. Now, this is Hazel. Remember, we use 
she instead of hasn't. She has a bunch of flowers. She has pig tails. She wears a pink dress. She has a pink dog. This is a duck. It is white in color. It has a yellow beak. We use it for animals, birds, things and babies. It swings in the water. It is a beautiful bird. Now next. This is a ball. This is a thing. We use it of instead of using ball every time. It is red in color. It is a toy. It is round. It is mine. Next. Number D. Rewrite the following sentences using he, she or it. One has been done for you. Firoz has a new bicycle. He has a new bicycle. We rewrite the sentence using the proper pronoun. Next, Varun likes to sing. We use he. He likes to swim. Ali jumps on the sofa. He jumps on the sofa. Shana likes to draw. Shana is a girl. So, we use she. She likes to draw. My father packs my bag. My father packs it. Now, turn over the page. Page number 56. The duck swims in the pond. It swims in the pond. The dog eats bones. It eats bones. Number E. Put he, she or it each in each blank. One has been done for you. She is Lali. It is a chair. He is Harmit. He is a player. She is a girl. He is a postman. Always remember, he, she and he. These pronouns are used for singular nouns. I. I am a girl. In this sentence, girl is a naming word. As it refers to a person and it is a common naming word. The word I, the word I is used for the person. Girl, where it's not a naming word but it uses the place of a naming word. I, the pronoun is the first person singular nominative case personal pronoun. It is used refer oneself and is capitalized. Although other pronouns such as he or she are not capitalized. Like I am Mona. Like I am Mona. I, I am a girl. Now look at your book page number 57. Look at these pictures. I am Ronit. I am a boy. I am Tina. I am a girl. I am Sunil. I am a man. I am Maya. I am a woman. Next the pronoun you. The pronoun you is used both singular and plural nouns in any part of a sentence like you are a boy. You all are good in cricket. Now look at your book. Page number 57. Here you. You are a boy. You are a girl. You are a Doctor. Now, we. The pronoun we is used for more than one person. Means plural noun. I am a student. Sheena is a student. We are students. Always remember, we always include I. Now, look at your book. We are boys. We are girls. We are friends. The pronoun they. The pronoun they is used for more than one person or animal also. One person, plural nouns and animals. Like they are Rina and Mina. They are sisters. They are two sisters. Next, suppose they are five.
try many. So always remember we, they are used for plural nouns. Okay, and you is used both plural and singular nouns. Now turn over the page, page number fifty-eight. Write F, write I, we or you in each blank. I am Sheena. You are Jia. We are friends. Now number G. Who am I? You can see Tanya, Vinay, Tony, Rishi, and Mona. You have to find them in these pictures and write about them. One has been done for you. I am Mona. Look, she is Mona. I am a girl. Next, Vinay. I am Vinay. I am a boy. Number two. I am Rishi. I am a boy. Number three. I am Tanya. I am a girl. Next, number four. It is Tony. It is a dog. Now, next page, page number fifty-nine. Put I, you, they, or we in each blank. One has been done for you. Number one. I am Karin. You are Suha. We are a boy and a girl. We are brother and sister. Number four. She is Rina. He is Dhruv. They are a girl and a boy. They are best friends. Put the correct word in each blank. I am a pilot. You are a teacher. He is a driver. She is my aunt. Now next page, page number sixty. They are clowns. We are friends. It is a bird. They are puppies. Number J. Choose the correct word and fill in the blanks. One has been done for you. It, I, she, they, you, he. You have to choose the correct word and fill in the blanks. It is an apple. They are my friends. I am happy. We are in the class. She is in the bus. He is a good boy. So this is for today. Stay home, stay safe.